G'day. Just um, want to share on my channel about my slogan. Uh, the Hunters Ministry Join the Harvest. Some people might have picked up on the on the double meaning. One of those means you know, harvesting deer, harvesting animals. But as a as a Christian, as a follower of Jesus, um, the other meaning is is the harvest of of souls. And in the Bible, Jesus said that um, the harvest the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. And what he's talking about is that there's a lot of souls, a lot of people who are lost, and I was. <laughs> I was once lost myself, um, and there's a parable in the Bible that talks about um, the seed. The way it goes is that a farmer goes out and spreads his seed on the ground, and some of the seed falls on on the gravel road, and some of the seed falls in uh, on the so on the edge of the road and on the edge of the soil of the field. Some seed falls on good soil. And the seed that falls on, on hard ground, birds come and pick it up and, and take that seed away. But where the soil is only shallow, the roots only go down so far and, and they don't get established. And then the seed that falls on good soil, it, its roots grow go deep and it gets watered and it grows to become, to become a crop. And it gets to a point where it's ready to be harvested. And what Jesus is talking about is talking about the seed is the word of God. The seed is also um, those going out and sharing the good news, the gospel, the the message of Jesus, um, the message of salvation, forgiveness, love, peace and joy. Um, that's the message which is the seed in the story. And those words, that, that message falls on on certain ground and that ground is people's hearts and some people some people aren't ready to hear it some people don't want to hear it so that that seed falls on on hard ground and 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 it just or on a hard heart um, and Jesus said that um, Satan comes and steals that that word before it gets time to grow any roots or and get established and and then some, some of the word, sometimes a message falls on someone's heart or, or falls on their ears. They hear the message and, and they, they're interested, they're intrigued and the roots grow down, go down a little bit but the, shallow, the soil is shallow and, and the person, I guess, either, you know, when they realise what following Jesus would cost them, they, they say, oh no, I'm, I'm, I don't want that. But the initial interest is there. The seed, the word that falls on the heart, that um, you know, grows up, the weeds grow up and, in the soil and choke it out, I guess that's where the message falls on someone's heart that, that does take it on board um, and does want to you know, follow Jesus, but then the things of the world, peer pressure, you know, persecution that comes for by following Jesus. Persecution comes to those who follow Jesus. It chokes them out, just like the weeds choked out the choked out that little plant in in, in the soil. And then the seed or the word that falls on a on good soil falls on a heart ready to to receive um, the message of Jesus, the truth, and they, they are, they are, that is the soil or the heart that is ready to receive salvation and, and receive forgiveness and turn away from sin. And they become saved by confessing that Jesus is Lord and Saviour. And um, repenting. Repenting, and I think we all know what repent means. We don't even have to have it really explained to us, but... Repentance is, is doing a 180. One minute you're going this way, then you have a change of heart and you go this way. And you're not going that way anymore. 
you're you're following following Jesus and His ways, as the Bible says, um, we become born again in the Spirit, and that's there's a whole teaching on that, but I won't go there at the moment. So I guess that's where the harvest, that's where the join the harvest sort of comes from. Double meaning, and um, yeah, it's important to me, and I know it's important for all of us. Um, some people just haven't, some people just don't know that yet. And there was a time where I didn't know it until, until I gave God a chance and, and looked for Him. As the Bible says, if you seek Me, God promises that you'll find, we will find Him. And um, that's what happened for me. So, um, yeah, anyone who's interested in wanting to know more about Jesus or the Bible, you got any questions, whatever, hit us up. Happy to just have a chat. Uh, I'm not going to bash you with the Bible. Uh, I'm just passionate because I know that um, what I've found is real. Many people have found, found Jesus and realised that he's real because they had a personal experience. We don't go sit in a pew because we want to tick a box. We don't read the Bible because we think it's going to get us to heaven. We do it because we know that the one who wrote it, God, has done something personal in our lives. And that's what it's, we can't deny it. Um, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed to share what I believe and what I know is real. Sometimes I have my doubts, but that's a part of learning and growing. So, and uh, as I, you know, um, seek God, He says that if you draw near to me, I'll draw near to you. And His promises never fail. So, you know, we call on God, call on Jesus, you give it some time, and you keep your eye out, you'll see Him do things in your life. So, anyway, that's enough for me. Uh, just a little bit on why the name and the slogan join the harvest and yeah hope you guys keep enjoying some videos um, just heading down to the beach now family bit of a family holiday before christmas see if i can catch a fish or two fish on Whew.